Alright, hey guys, what's going on? Um, today I just wanted to do a little walkthrough of what I have done to the escape um, and try to answer a few questions that I always get on videos, like what I did for my lift, tires, um, some mechanical stuff. Um, but I just kind of wanted to talk through that a little bit, uh, clear up some questions. Maybe this video will be pretty useful for anybody else who has an escape that they're trying to mod. Um, so let's just get started. I'm going to start from the front. I have um, a black horse bull bar attached onto the front end. Um, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, the connecting points aren't that great, sadly. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's done its job. It's protected a little bit of the front end and the undercarriage. Um, it's been pretty nice. It's definitely taken a beating. It's dented up and everything. So, I mean, every once in a while, I'll go back through and just bash that part out with a hanger or a hammer. Um, <clears throat> also, I need to clarify because it probably some people won't be watching this right after Halloween. But this, the blood on the car was for Halloween. Um, just kind of forget about that and act like it's not there. But a uh, full bar, I got a um, kind of a what do you call that? A bug deflector or wind deflector attached to the front end. Um, I've done angry eyes with the plasti dip. Um, that's, in my opinion, it looks really good. Uh, I'll end up having to redo it here soon, but it's just done with plastic dip. It's not that hard. Um, another cosmetic is I got the Street Speed 717 um, American Hood detail or American flag hood decal. Excuse me. Um, got that on there. I did it myself in a garage, so it's not that professionally done, or it doesn't look absolutely great. But uh, yeah. So the next thing I got on here are wheels and tires. Um, these are Destination Mud Terrains um, from Firestone. They're pretty decent tires. Um, they're looking a little small right now because they don't have that much tread left. I probably got another, uh, I don't even know. Hopefully I can get another half year out of them. Um, but yeah, other than that, I got some Proline, just like universal lug wheels or whatever. Um, I like them, they're a lot better clean, so I think I'm going to try to insert a uh, clip into this video where everything's nice and cleaned, um, so you can see what it looks like, but they're just black wheels, um, held up pretty good, I think they look really good on the Escape, initially I was going to go with Steelys, but the uh, tires that I have on right now are too big, with the offset it would just end up like destroying the fenders and everything, um, so yeah, that's my wheel and tire setup. very tiny little mod is I just got a shorty uh, antenna it cleans up the look a little bit it's not like a crazy long little flopping antenna anymore but the antenna would like reach up all the way to my roof rack so I'm glad I switched that out and replaced it all right next we have the um, 32 inch light bar I have attached um, it's pretty bright let me turn that on real quick this is it turned on um, not really sure how great you can see it just because it's pretty light out but um it's really bright it does its job i'm glad i didn't really go any bigger just because it wouldn't have fit and it doesn't need to be that big all right so next up on the list is we got a extended kurt roof basket um i think it fits the escape pretty darn well if you have a sunroof it goes over the sunroof just so you know um but in my opinion i love how it looks there's a sunroof in there, how much it goes over. Um, originally, it's just supposed to be this piece and this back piece, but then you can buy a middle section for it that extends it out. And personally, I hate the tiny look of roof baskets, so I, I like the larger ones. So then there's that. Up top, we also have the um, roof mounted spare that I have. It's a full size spare with my new tires. Um, and I just had it tied down with a few um, tie down straps and a bike lock and everything so nobody could steal it but in my opinion it makes it look pretty cool um, kind of completes the look in my opinion all right in the rear end that we have a um, the stripes from the flag on the hood um, originally you 
the decal is a lot longer than my hood is so I took off the parts that were hanging over my hood and put them into and, uh, some stripes going down the back in my opinion it looks really good um, it definitely just goes with the car and the roof basket um, also we have a basically straight pipe exhaust I originally it was a Gibson cat back um, and it was just it, it sounded really good like don't get me wrong the Gibson exhaust for this car is amazing it's a good grumble and everything but it's just it's not allowed enough in my personal opinion so I ended up doing a muffler delete and taking off the muffler off the catback exhaust and boom now it's pretty much straight piped all I have left are the cats which will probably go in the next year so it'll just be a full straight pipe I put a resonator on just to tune the sound a little bit and then we have a like one and a quarter inch adapter to two inch um, where I have my recovery hook um, let me get that focused there we go um, this has really stayed in my butt a few times pulled out a Jeep with this so I mean it's in there it's not going anywhere it's stable um, it's effective so yeah I got that Another thing that I have done to the car is I have um, window tent on the front two uh, windows. There's privacy, like stock privacy glass on the back and everything like that. So I just kind of wanted the tint to match. And uh, my opinion, it looks dang good. Like, I think I might go darker in the future. Um, you can still kind of see inside of it when you're just up close. So. Might go darker, who knows. All right, for the interior, there's not many mods done or any upgrades, it's just a little bit of stickers and customization that I do to my car. Uh, I've got a few stickers up here. Um, Johnny Cash is a friend of mine, uh, Blue Lives Matter, and then a uh, Come and Take It sticker. Um, <laughs> I've gotten a few compliments on the Blue Lives Matter sticker, even from police. So that's that's been kind of cool. Um, I have my light bar switch right here. The focuses. There we go. Um, it's a regular toggle switch. It's pretty nice. Um, really, I, I like the positioning of it. It's on the uh, handle up here. So that's been nice. I had this switch right here originally hooked up, but now it is not. It's just pointless. Um, I'm going to have to take it off here soon. And then the last big thing I have is yeah i know it's really ratchet right now and jank but give me some time and i'll i'll figure this out better but it's a uh, police siren um this has always been super fun <laughs> loud too yeah, let's see yeah it's crazy loud um it's really fun it even has a working pa system so you can just talk into it and then yell at people on the road if you need to it comes with two toggle switches here so if i ever wanted to be really really illegal and get police lights i could and attach them to there and just flip them on um so that's really fun uh yeah all right so all in all that's pretty much all i have done to the car right now um i know i've said in past videos i'm gonna get or i already have msds shorty race headers um, the only thing I need is the Y pipe that connects the two headers to the uh, catalytic converter and the, or the flex pipe down the bottom. Um, once I get that part, then I'll look and see about installations. Um, I'm really wanting the headers put on by like Christmas or around that time. So I really need to be uh, thinking about buying the, um, the last pieces basically for the headers. And once that is on, it's going to be fantastic. Um, I've heard the gains on it are pretty decent without a tune. Um, so with these tires, I definitely need them. Um, and then I've said in other videos, I'm trying to save up for another car. Um, so I'm kind of, I want to put more money in the escape, but I kind of don't. It's just, there's not much else I really can do with this other than get like, finish the headers, put on a tune and then delete the cat. Um, that's about all that's left unless I wanted to fabricate a bumper 
which that would be very very expensive so probably won't be happening um, so yeah other than that um, I guess all that's left is to do an exhaust clip for y'all so I'm gonna set that up and I'll start up the car it's not gonna be a cold start because I've I drove here so but um, it'll be good enough that you'll be able to hear kind of the general idea So, you just heard the exhaust. Um, I can already smell that the car runs a little rich. So, I'm hoping once I get the headers on and the cat deleted, this might actually shoot flames. Maybe, who knows? I know an ex uh, escape that shoots flames. How crazy would that be? But, who knows? I think it could be pretty cool. Um, I think my escape would be the only one in at least the U.S. that can do it. I've never seen another escape shoot flames, so who knows? Let's just give that a little rumble. Oh, that sounds so bad. Ah, oh, flogged up the camera. Go away, fog. There we go, it's starting to go. All right, so that's about gonna do it for the, uh, for the walk around of my modded escape. Um, oh, wow, how did I forget the lift? I'm just going to do a quick edit. Alright, so the last little point of my video I wanted to make is that I do have suspension work done. It's on um, Old Man Emu lift springs. Um, they raise it about two inches or just about, or like really close to two inches. Um, they're super awesome. I love them. Um, they made a huge difference on my car. It's made the ride a little bit stiffer. and. Uh, definitely handles better off-road and everything like that I used to have really bad rubbing issues with my wheels and once I put the uh, lift springs on there's no more issues so that's really awesome um, yeah I think you can get them at rockyroadoutfitters.com um, they're around 300 bucks ish if you're thinking about getting it definitely go for it um, if you're thinking the route of getting a we call it strut spacers for the front i wouldn't i would just skip it and pay the 300 bucks and get something that goes all around um yes yeah, so with the strut spacers it's definitely more noticeable that's lifted up in the front but you also get the rear with the 300 dollars and it's it's lifted basically the same thing um and it, it it honestly handles better the axles won't slip out yeah, so if you're thinking about doing a lift, I would recommend you go the Old Man Emu, emu route and get the uh, lift springs. So that right there is going to end the uh, video for now. Um, I just want to do a quick walkthrough and explain to you guys what I have done to the escape. Um, I try to upload to this channel as much as I can. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that's where I do a lot. I, I'm more active on Instagram. Um, it's easier to take a picture than go out and film a whole video. Um, so... <laughs> It's gonna be um, at the underscore great underscore escape 07. Uh, it's 07, excuse me. Um, but that's my Instagram, follow me. Uh, I try to post at least every weekend uh, for YouTube and I try to post at least as many times as I can on Instagram. Um, so that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video as much as you can. Um, we're doing great. I've made a goal of getting 50 subscribers by the end of November, and we're already at 46, I believe. So uh, if we can if we can get it to 50 subscribers by like the 20th, that would be absolutely perfect. And I want to say I want to do something crazy, but I honestly don't know what I would do. The escape, but um, trying to get me there, guys. I really appreciate all the support and the uh, sharing and the views and everything. So uh, y'all have a great day. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe.